This is surely the last time you'll be sleeping here. If you leave, don't come back. The problem you have is that you think you can dismiss me and introduce another man into your heart. You forgot I have built a house inside your heart. It is not possible for me to leave. Or not possible. I have other businesses to attend to. I will see you later this night. I will not have anything to tell you until you bring your cursed body back to this house. These are the reasons why some people in this community say that you're tough, wicked and evil. You talk as though you could do anything. I am the only one who knows you and you cannot scare me away. You are just a woman, like every other good woman in this community. We'll see you later this night. People fear me for nothing, while I am just an ordinary woman, fighting for her rights. Aboma. What shall we say to her when we get there? Aboma, she appears to me like someone that could solve our problem. So let's go. Why would they run when they see me? Why do people associate me with evil? of this. Hey! This was the offer he asked me to swear on last night. What is he doing here? You mean you have already seen this sham with someone already? Who is the person? She had a dream last night where an old cobra wanted to kill the prince and you rushed to see if the prince was okay. I want you to swear on this offer that you weren't lying when you said that. I don't get it. Apart from Uzoni, who slept with me last night, you are the first person I'm seeing today. So what do you mean by I, I should swear? <laughs> Can you tell me the reason behind that deadly move you made last night? I've already told you what happened and why we went there. Now, if this is not acceptable to you, then you can believe whatever you want. Now listen to me, let me tell you something. I am an authority in this palace. And once I decide to unmask anything, definitely I must unmask that. People who elect to hide things from me are wasting their time. Because you can never hide anything from me. There was a deadly movement in this palace last night. And let me tell you to your face, I am going to get to the root of it. Hey, 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 don't go and tell Prince things because nothing happened. Aboma, to be sincere with you, I want my daughter to win the contest. I want her to become the next queen. That is why I'm here with her. What makes you think I would want to teach any maiden? My dance steps. Aboma, we are not going to die with your dancing steps. We all know that you're a powerful dancer. And you can make any maiden to dance well as well. That is why I'm here with her. Have you ever experienced the spirit of dance before? Aboma. 
she has already defeated herself by saying that she's not a wonderful dancer. But I know what you can do in the life of any medium. You can turn her to anything. That's why I'm here with her. I want you to memorize a song of your choice. Dance to it in a way that I can be convinced. <coughs> you have something to improve upon. The floor is yours. When came out, Baba? up your senses and make you alert for the challenge you shall face for today. So, why are you now insisting that we must not dance? Uh, I haven't uh, insisted that you shouldn't dance, but I want to, you know, give you our comment by saying that uh, you two have been very wonderful. I am very, very glad you are the main things assigned to entertain me and yes. yes. A beautiful maiden just came to this palace to see you. And from the way she sounded, it's all joint and left. And perfect. Like now. Tell her to come here. Both of you are just sent for you when I need you. Leave. Uh, so, what can I do for you? What side are you making? What nonsense are you making? What does it mean? My prince, I came to tell you something about Sunkosa. Should I go ahead? Of course, go ahead. I'm, 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 I'm full of this. Uh, what she has come to tell me, I think, is very uh, confidential. Okay, so I can be excuse I can't believe you just said that, my prince. You want me to leave you alone with this thing? This one? Do you see? Don't annoy me. Huh? I said she has come to tell me something about Ngozi and it's confidential. Just for my ears alone. So please excuse me. Now! Is she, 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 she okay? Is everything okay? Yes, my prince, she's okay. She's not just comfortable with the coming festival. Why? My prince. Because she's not a wonderful dancer. And she has this feeling that she will lose out if the contest holds. So she sent you to tell me to cancel it? On the contrary, my prince, I came on my own. My friend told me that you profess love to her, she believes in you. She has already given you her heart. She only needs a word of commitment from you. What kind of word? My prince, she wants you to tell her that. If or not she wins, you declare her the winner and make her your queen. Ah, but that is not possible. It's not on that way. Apart from my very self being there as a judge, uh, there will be other official judges and unofficial judges too. So I cannot ridicule myself in front of the whole kingdom and pronounce her as the winner when she didn't actually win. It's not possible. My prince, it seems you don't understand what I'm talking about. My prince, Uncle Zee will die if she fails to win. Hey, 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 hey. Prince Obak has spoken like a man in authority, like a warrior, like a true son of the father that he is, like a masquerade. Now I want you to go back to whoever that sent you and tell him or her that the festival is going to hold as planned. 
maidens are going to dance and we are going to make a selection. Let her do what others are doing. See my position. I'm sorry, Ndubisi, but this is a private meeting with the prince. Don't force me to go and tell us you go that we came here to seduce the prince. Ndubisi, shut up. Just shut up. She only came here to express an opinion. She didn't try to seduce me or she tried anything it's funny. Okay? She didn't seduce me in any way. My prince, this lady here came in with the worst kind of seduction because she was trying to seduce your conscience with well tailored words and you were almost falling victim. Permit me, my prince, to throw this thing out of this palace now. Why would you send her with such a message? My prince, I did not. She must have come to you on her own. No, no, no. I don't believe that. No. My prince. Yes. Neka is my very good friend. I'm sure she felt my worries and came to you. This is your particular worry. How do we handle it? My prince. Yes. There are too many things I can do very well. Dancing isn't amongst them. I'm not a good dancer. I cannot dance. Not for a competition, even. Those were Neka's exact words. But the issue is that what are we going to do about it? How do we handle it? <laughs> there should be another way of determining. There's no other way. No other way. The whole kingdom has decided. My prince, you will be the only judge. Just declare me the winner, even if I don't dance very well. Ngozi, that also is impossible. It's impossible. Yes, I am going to be the only judge, yes. But have you forgotten other people will be there? I don't want to appear biased. My prince, you are the one who told me never to worry about what people say or think. Y yes, yes, but this particular case is different. We just have to do something about this. We have to do something. You have to. That is. Try. Try and I mean, improve your dancing skills. Try. You just have to do that. You just have to try. That, that, that's the only thing. You just have to. You have to. You have to. Please, Indubisi. I <laughs> want you to tell me the whole truth. Did it really happen? Come on. Were you thinking I would come all the way from the palace to say something that never happened? I am telling you what happened in the palace. Her friend came to plead on her behalf, and for the very first time in a long time, the prince impressed me with his response. This is the part I want to hear. What did he say? The writing, of course. He told her that there is only one way. She has to go and learn how to dance. Dance well and convince everybody or she's out of the race. Wow! <laughs> wow! This is good news. This means that we have two, two trees out, out of, of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I noticed how scared you were the other time, you know, concerning her supposed closeness to the prince. And I, 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 know, I know you were you were getting scared. I kept to tell you what is happening, you know. Who wouldn't be? <laughs> hmm? Oh, this is good news. You know, we know how good you are when it comes to dancing. And now you have the one that is walking very close to the prince, walking in the palace, walking for you. I don't need to tell you how close you are to being the queen. Oh, God! I'm so happy! Adam Mohaka. Thank you! Adam Mohaka, thank you! Thank you! I don't know what they are planning to do. But from what I was told about Umpo Mabo Festival, maidens do not dance singles, they dance in groups. Mainly in a file. Spectators will be watching when they are dancing. I, I think they are planning to organize a festival where the maidens will be dancing in single. Then it is no longer Mpumawa festival. And someone like me will challenge the throne for going against the custom and traditions of our land. Aboma. This meeting is digressing a little and I'm not comfortable. You are being political. I don't want to be involved in the politics of this land. I just made a point. Forget about the negative impressions formed by her people about me. I like doing the proper thing. Aboma, my question is, are you going to teach my daughter your unique steps that made you the renowned dancer in the land?
I don't like asking maidens if they are still virgins. I work with the spirit of dance. As long as you are under my tutelage, you have no reason to allow any man enjoy the woman in you. So if you are ready to do this, we can start tonight. She has no choice. She will be here at dusk. So that when I declare her uh, the best, uh, nobody will complain. They will say she's simply the best. Oh, I see. My friends, yes. I see it as a great honor that you approached me to teach your maiden. But my prince, the truth remains that if you want the best from that your maiden, you must take her to the best. Then who else do you call the best? My prince, they call her evil. They say she's weird. Others say she's brutal. But the truth remains that amongst all the women born in Omo Palere, she remains the best dancer. And if there is anyone that can teach your maiden, she is the one. Who is she? Her name is Aboma. For three years, she has lived beyond the forest of Obalidem. She is the best dancer. She didn't buy or sell to anybody. She's been there, whining and dining with the spirits. My prince, her mama has highly become spiritual. And I trust her, she will teach your maiden what I don't even know. Udubisi once mentioned an Aboma who teaches seduction. Yes, she is the one. I'm happy you know her. She can seduce any man. And there is no man that can resist any maiden she trained. She is the best. Now, Ju, I am looking for someone to teach my maiden dance steps and not seduction. My prince, feminine dance is 100% seduction. If a lady is dancing and she is unable to trigger the sexual urge of her male spectators, it could be said that the lady does not know how to dance. Take your maiden to Aboma. She will teach her how to seduce the crowd. And that alone will fetch her the crown on that day. It's alright, I'll, I'll get back to you. One more thing, my friends. Seduce the crowd with your steps. You know? But I'm, 
I'm not going to be part of the festival. Honestly, I'm just learning this dancing step to make myself happy. Did I hear you correctly? Yeah. That you want to be part of this festival. Why? My dear, my father said the festival is an extension of idolatry. And he insisted that I will not participate. What will I do? And you agreed not to participate in the festival just like that? What do you want me to do? Argue with my father. No way. I am learning these dancing steps to make myself happy. Please. You know I love dancing. Teach me. <laughs> Would you? I don't know what you're saying, but I know you're going to be part of this festival. <laughs> Should not be allowed to participate in the festival. Why? Amanze, you are not just the leader of the royal band. To the best of my knowledge, you are the leader of practically all the bands we have in this land. I came to you and I asked a very simple question. What music shall you be playing during the coming in for Mabogo festival? Why are you behaving as if you don't want to answer that question? You see, I'm not surprised at your question. But at first I wanted to play mute and not answer you. But I will forgive your ignorance because you do not know music and you don't know how the spirit of music works. I must say, must you smuggle spirit into everything? This is a physical thing we are talking about here. What music shall you be playing during the coming Nkwauma Bogo festival? That is the question. One thing you don't understand is that once the band gathers on that very day, everything becomes spiritual. We surrender ourselves totally to the spirit of music and allow the spirits to direct us. Even intelligent maidens also surrender themselves to the spirit of dance. And every maiden that does that always leave the stage with smiles on their faces and fulfillment. I'm as wait. What are you trying to do? Do you think I will live here without that information? Do you? <laughs> I am surprised that a man that works in the palace do not know our tradition. Is that an insult or what? No, it's not. I want you to understand something that the ways of the gods is not the ways of man. That's why it is said that the private part of an old man is not a plain thing to a cry child. Once we arrive on that very day, we don't even have a slight idea on what we might likely play. We just allow the spirits to direct us. One thing you must know is that even the king do not dabble in what we play. Take them to the stream and wash them for me. I want them dry before sunset. When did this one start? You want me to go wash your clothes? For what? Akalowa, listen to me. Ikedi is already in my black book in this palace for undermining my authorities. Do not go into my black book too. In another one. Ndi, have you forgotten that you're a guard like me? Why are you send me on errands? Listen to me. Because I'm a different kind of guard entirely. I am arranging for a wife for the prince who will come into this palace as the next queen. If you continue to see me as a guard like you, someone who is in the same level with you, hi, then I will tell her when she enters here that you are an idiot and your own will be finished. 
Go and watch this because my friend. I like that now do nonsense. Oh. Undu, you need to go to the stream. Where's Indubisi? Can somebody please just tell me where Indubisi is? He cannot leave the palace without telling me. So please just tell me the truth. Where is Indubisi? My prince. Yes? God forbid we ever stand before you and lie. We don't know his actual location. Okay. When he comes back, tell him he has to see me immediately, okay? If you see him around, tell him he has to see me immediately. Because he has to take me to Aboma. That's it. My prince, we only know one Aboma in this kingdom. And she's here that evil. I don't know if she's the one you're talking about. And is that why you're wearing that look? Yes, I'm looking for Aboma. The one who they say has the power of seduction. The one who has the power to seduce anybody. My prince, I'm sorry. Why are you looking for her? Have we not been doing enough? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by, by are you not doing enough? Apart from dancing for me for entertainment, is there any other thing you're doing for me? Any other thing without my knowledge? What do you mean by that? Is there another thing I do with you? My prince, what's going on here? Why are you looking this tattoo? My prince here wants you to take him to Aboma. And we are here trying to tell him that Aboma is not a good woman. My prince, what are you doing with Aboma? Both of you may leave now. Hey, Abom Mama. What is the prince doing with Abom Mama? Hmm. I can't understand. Hey. Seriously, I am very, very worried. Hey. My prince. Abom Mama. Let me see. Let's sit down. It has happened to me countless number of times. I've always believed that it must be a trance. But now it is clear to me that I'm having a revelation. That is why I came. Ukolo, you are a loafer known by all. I'm wondering what kind of revelation you had that could move someone like me. If you go around this kingdom, you will see maidens dancing at their hearts. The aim is simply to become the next queen. I've been having this revelation. And in that revelation, I'm seeing your daughter, Ujunwa, sitting next to the prince as our queen. I came to ask you, why is Ujunwa not practicing like other maidens? Is she the one that sent you to me? You can vouch for me that I'm not a man of maidens. I'm a man among men. I simply came to ask you this question. Why is Ujunwa our future queen, not practicing like other maidens? I don't know the kind of revelation you said you have that, could, that gives you the impression that Ujunwa could be the next queen. What I am saying is that my daughter will never be part of pagan festival. It is not a pagan festival. It is strictly a dancing festival before our king abolished it 100 years ago. Even the colonial priests were part of it. If you refuse Ujunwa from participating in the festival that will make her the next queen, a wrong queen will be unleashed in this kingdom and posterity will hold you for it. Ukolo, come back here and explain what you made. I have delivered my message. Deny her and face the consequences. I am delighted having the prince in my house. I am going to do as you desire, but first, I want you to tell me how you want the maidens to dance during the festival. Uh, thank you. And uh, now, uh, uh, see, how do you think they should dance? The maidens, they will dance like maidens and we will select the best. Aboma, uh, you see, the truth is that we haven't decided on how they will dance. We consider you as authority in this particular issue. So please advise us on how you think the maidens should dance. The age-long tradition of our people is that the maidens will dance at once in what we call a good. We will continue to reduce the number until we have the four best dancers. 
the four dancers represent the spirit of our four market days in Iboland. Okay, okay, okay. Until the number is further reduced to two, representing man and woman. It is from the two that you choose the queen. Is this what you're planning or have you adopted another pattern entirely? No, 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 no. You see, we haven't adopted any pattern at all. We haven't. Uh, 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 and as such, I, I think we'll consider adopting this your particular pattern. Yes, uh, uh, since it's an age-long tradition. Um, um, so, uh, uh, in other words, uh, I also think we might also consider you part of the jury. Yes, yes. I have already volunteered to teach the maidens. Let another take the jury. Ochugo, who works at the palace, can make an excellent jury. Mm. What do you think? What do you say to that? Abomma said something that I didn't understand. I have to understand her first before I discuss who is in the jury and who is not. Do you see? What did she say? Abomma said she volunteered to teach other maidens. Yes. It means simply that Abomma is already occupied with other maidens. Definitely. But that is not a problem. Apart from your maiden that you're sending down to me from Akihi village, I have other maidens I'll be teaching. The festival that you reincarnated is about the best thing that so far came from your father. And you must leave the experts to do the right thing. Abomma, I thank you for the um, accolade. Thank you. But um, this is my question to you directly. There was my maiden who has accepted, doesn't know how to dance. Stand a chance amongst those wild maidens from my kingdom. That is where the seduction comes in. I will teach all the maidens how to dance. And then I will teach your maiden how to seduce and intimidate the crowd. If she practices what I'll teach, she will be the only one the crowd will see in the midst of other maidens. My prince, please, let us take to our side. Now? As in now. Very important. Don't come back. Yeah. You went to Nanyo Jugo and you spent the whole day telling her about this music of Aki. Now we are here before Abuma and you are telling her about the same maiden. I called you aside because my displeasure has reached the very zenith. It's about to burst. And I, I don't want us to make further moves on this girl. Please, you do see. Is this why you called me out? My prince, you are bringing your exalted position to ridicule. You are supposed to be an unbiased judge. Please, why are you giving everybody the impression that Ngozika of Aki is the only one you want around you as that's the point? Because she's the only one I want. She's the only one I want beside me as queen. Yes? I'm only here to engage in the services of an expert to teach her the art of seduction. That's it, simple. My friends, can't you understand this thing that I'm explaining understand to you? Understand what, see? The maiden that I brought to you doesn't need anybody to teach her the art of seduction because she knows too much already. Why can't you look at her one more time and you are going to discover you don't need Ngozi of Aki that people are teaching anything. Ngozi, I know what I saw in Ngozi that I do not see in your Zoma. So please, I know what I want, okay? And please, 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 no further distractions from you. Please, Ngozi, please. <sighs> Was the time out all about me? Uh, no, 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 no. It wasn't all about you. Uh, not about you at all. You see, uh, um, Ndubisi here has a girl he's been trying to impose on me. And I have told Ndubisi time without number, time and time again, I don't like the girl, but Ndubisi will not listen. When are you bringing the girl to me? Um, I, I will not bring her to you. Okay, I want you to send for her. I don't want her to know I'm involved in this. In that case, brief the town crier to move around and announce that I am going to be the one training the maidens. 
for the festival. Okay. Okay. When they all come, yes. I will single her out okay. and plant the magic on her. Oh, beautiful idea. Yeah? Beautiful, beautiful. My prince, there is nothing beautiful in this idea. Aboma is planning to make you pay for her services. You know, whatever. Well, I don't care how much she's asking for me to pay. What are we looking at, Aboma? The festival is a spiritual one. The band plays as they are led by the spirits. The maidens dance as the spirit leads. The spectators watch as the spirit leads. I want to train as the spirit leads me. And the throne will pay me as they are led. Intelligent. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Perfect. When you get home today, you'll be surprised your father will ask you to join other maidens and prepare for the competition. He will satisfy your quest. And you will go find the competition buff. You must make me a promise. How did you get to know that I've not been training with other maidens? My name is Ukolo. There's nothing that goes on in this kingdom that I'm not aware of. I spoke with your father and he's now willing to allow you to prepare like every other maiden. That's awesome. So, what do you want me to promise? I and my friend will be unofficial judges at the competition. I will personally use my power to make sure that you're recognized. But, you must promise me that when you hit the limelight, I, Ukulu, will not be forgotten. Ukulu, I am not one of the maidens that forgets people easily. I am not going to forget you. I promise. The important thing here is for me to get to the limelight first. I will not forget you. My house is the last house you see before you enter Abagana. When you have a go ahead from your father, meet me at home and I will take you to where you'll be coached. I had wanted to support your friend, Uzoma, but I changed my mind. Why did you change your mind? Reasons personal to me. Go home and meet with your father. When you're through, meet me at home. I will take you to where you'll be coached. When do you want me to come? You can come anytime. I'm excited you're lending your support. Thank you so much. Go home. When you have a go-ahead from your father, meet me and we'll sit down and plan properly. Thank you. Ike, Your Majesty. I don't know what you think, but I think this idea of a festival is wonderful. <laughs> Every family in the land is electrified, and for the first time in years, our maidens are very, very happy. Uh, well, well, Your Majesty, I spoke with some women, mm. and they all said in one voice that this festival is strictly for maidens. <laughs> I don't know if you share their views, Your Majesty. Ike. Your Majesty. The festival is for my son to select a maiden as wife. Once he does that, others can choose their own wives. It's purely their business. But what if there is chaos? We must trust them to manage chaos. I have made inquiries. My son is planning well. I like trusting people. Give them the responsibility to organize the first Unkwa Mawogo festival in a hundred years. We shall grace the occasion, no doubt, but we must also trust them to organize it. Uh, Mana, the information all over, Your Majesty, is that uh, uh, once our prince picks a maiden, mm. the maiden will be crowned a queen on the spot. Who made that pronouncement? You, Your Majesty? Oh, yes. I made the pronouncement myself. The maiden that shall be selected by my son shall be crowned queen in waiting immediately. He promised to give me information about the very music that will be played on that day. 
Up till now, I haven't heard a word from you. I wonder how you still want me to outshine others. Uzoma, the process has become spiritual and that is why I am here. Spiritual? How do you mean spiritual? I cornered the prince. For him to give me approval to travel to Onishado and engage the services of Ndegua Party. For them to come and play on that day. Because I am convinced that if Ndegua Party are playing that day, I will be able to manipulate the process. But the prince refused to give the approval, saying that our local musicians must be the one playing that day. Now I went to Amanze, who is the leader of all the bands here in Omo Baleri, for him to tell me the music they are going to be playing that day. And he said he doesn't even know what they are going to be playing. Because they play as the spirit leads them. I made further inquiries and I discovered that nobody should even double into what the musicians are playing in the first place. That's why I say it's, it's, it's spiritual. Well, if that is the case, I would ask you not to bother yourself. As long as the music is something one can dance to, I promise you, I will do my very best. Uzoma, there is another twist to this. And now I want you to do what other maidens are doing. What are they doing? Maidens are not coming out that day simply to dance. They are coming out to seduce the prince because seduction has been made an integral part of the festival. Therefore, I want you to go to Aboma. Let her teach you all that she knows about the art of seduction. Aboma of all people? Why in this world should I go to her? Because I want you to win this contest and be the queen of Umo Baleri. I, I agree that you have something inside of you. I want you to go to Aboma. Learn all that she knows about seduction. Add whatever thing you have learned from Aboma to what you have already and I believe. You are going to humble the maidens of this land. <laughs> I never knew it to get to this. Now you want me to go and meet Aboma, someone I don't even like. You want me to go and meet her so she would teach me. Forget about your personal opinion about Aboma. Forget it. You understand that you are not doing this thing for Aboma, you are doing this for yourself. Aboma is the person you did now to teach you the talent you need to emerge as the queen. I want you to think about it. Look at even Aboma. Forget the opinion we form about her, the mistress surrounding Aboma. Look deeply and you will discover that Aboma we are talking about is a beautiful woman of this land. With her own personal emotions. Go to Aboma and learn something that will make you queen. Please. can only see you when you want to be seen. If you decide not to be seen, people cannot see you. Too many people dance these days simply to exercise their bodies in some places. Dancing is a part of sports, but I will tell you today, Dancing is not sports. The primary aim of dancing is to send signals and draw attention. That is our dance. To send signals and draw attention. If you enter any place to do anything, you may not be seen. Go to that same spot and dance and all eyes will be on you. 
as the festival is approaching, I want you all maybe to learn one thing. I want maidens to learn how to conquer their hearts. I don't understand what you mean by conquer our hearts. Their hearts. The climax of seduction is when you throw your heart to your victim and he catches it. That is it. This is Aboma, the best dancer of Omak Baleri, and the one who has volunteered to teach our maidens. You may join them and learn the dance. As I was saying, seduction is when you throw your heart to your victim and he catches it. <laughs> you are in trouble when you throw your heart to your victim and he didn't catch it you will be buried in sorrow and shame so many women who got themselves in that scenario didn't recover it i want maidens to learn how to throw their hearts perfectly but first you have to learn how to conquer the hearts and faces of your victim there are too many things you are teaching us all at once. We may not master all these techniques before the festival. You have all the time it takes to make an impact. Start something again. me in this kingdom. Did I commit any offense knowing you? Where did I go wrong? Where have I gone wrong? I brought a maiden who wants to learn the dance from you. Did I do anything wrong? How did you get to know that I am here? Listen Aboma, my name is Ukolo, a poor man of this kingdom that has the interest of this land at heart. I am a great man that people regard to us as a loafer. Our festival is announced, and I am deeply involved. I am very disappointed in you. Are you telling me that you prefer the advice of a busybody over that of your wife? Are you not reading unnecessary meaning into this matter? He did not give me any advice. He gave me a revelation that our daughter will be granted the queen. I decided not to be unnecessarily wicked and prevent our daughter from pursuing. What could be her possible destiny? Do you know what you just made me believe? You are not a man of your way. More. And I'm not impressed at all. Eh? Obiageli, that is an insult and I'm not taking it from you. I'm sorry, but you gave me the reason to talk that way. Eh? You told me you came from lineage of kings. Yes. But you're not behaving like one. More. Who is Ukolo in this kingdom to tell you that he has a revelation or a vision? For, for you concerning our daughter. How are you sure he has not created lies just to have access to our daughter? <laughs> you sound as if you don't trust our girl. I trust her absolutely. And she cannot, I repeat, she cannot do anything stupid. Papa. Mama. Where are you coming from? Yeah, yeah, mom. <laughs> Come here. Oh, mom, I'm, I'm coming from Omodora. You took me to the lady that is training other maidens. We have been dancing all day. And where is Ukolo now? I left him there. I came back with other maidens. My love, you look brighter today. I mean, the last time I saw you, you were quite saddened. I have no doubt the gods are with us. 
my love is talking. Please tell me more. First, we found love with each other. Okay. And this, this dance thing wanted to be an issue. Mm -hmm. And then came Agboma. The one and only Agboma asked me to join her in training. <laughs> my prince, it still amazes me. My love, I cannot agree with you less. The gods are with us. Now, please, make use of this opportunity. Use this opportunity and learn everything you can. Please. Are you telling me? My prince, you should see me dance now. Do you want me to no, dance? No, 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 my love, no, 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 no. Let's save it for the day day. I want to get properly trained to that day. Yes. Okay. It's true. Yes. But you should have allowed me to no, dance. No, 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 no. Just learn everything. Learn, because I know you will. I am very confident you will win. You must. My dear, practically all of them are learning from her. And how is Aboma supposed to coach them that are up for the same trophy? Honestly, I don't know. I was there the first time, but after seeing what goes on there, I decided to train myself instead. Yes. What are you talking about? From what I heard, Agboma is the best that can give them the training they want. Of course she is. But Agboma is not a problem here. Our maidens are. One can feel the envy and anger as human from each of them, especially Ngozi and Ozioma. Mm -hmm. Well, Agboma is the best trainer they can get for the dance. I hope they make good use of it. What about you? What about me, how? Aren't you going to train? I mean, do you not plan to participate in the festival? No. I'm not interested. But you're not serious, are you? You mean you're not going to be there? Is that what you're saying? Let's just say for now, I don't know what I want or not. When I do, I'll let you know. There's no time. Time is not on your side. There's no time. <clears throat> Let's not forget our training. I know that. But we're talking about dance here. Yeah? And not how to be a royal wife. Hmm? I know you are seen to be seen. A man of this kingdom attached to the palace as a slave. I beg your pardon? Who could? Am I the one you're calling a slave? I'm surprised you're angry. Why would you be? I mean, you don't, you don't have a mind of your own. You must cut every instruction given to you from the palace. Even when you're not comfortable. Slave. slave. You should not be seen standing here and talking with a slave. What you have observed so far? Do you think the festival is worth the attention it takes? Mama, the level of commitment of all the ladies is amazing. You need to. Even if the festival did not hold, this commitment, this togetherness is going to hold. Go in there, refresh yourself, then come back and tell me all that you have discussed with Okolo. Papa, nothing much. I can brief you immediately. Mm. Your father said go in and refresh. Be a good girl and do what your father says. If I discover that Ukulu said anything stupid to my daughter, I'm going to clam down on him. I don't want to discuss Ukulu. As far as I'm concerned, mm -hmm. it does not exist. You see your life? No, have you seen yourself? You know you are not even here to take a punch and you are insulting somebody. Hey. Had it been your dad now, what would you have said? Ah, huh? I'm glad you're finally on okay. feet. He's, he's up. He, a slave. You had your audacity to throw a punch at me. We shall see. We shall see. Look at this loafer. 
this hoodlum. What can he do? He called you a slave. Are you not going to respond to that? I don't understand the look in your face. What are you thinking? People might call Ukolo a lofa, but I'm definitely not one of those people that underestimate him in this kingdom. He is a man of many sides. Uzo, 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 please wait. I want to understand what you are saying. You know, are you possibly seeing me as a slave because he said that before you? He said it. And I'm sure there is more to that. It's very much possible you don't even know who you are. I, I don't know myself. It's very much possible. Hmm? I'm going to find out. You're going to find out? You're going to find out? Look at this, look at this, look at this girl I've been, I've been protecting in this kingdom. This, this idiot. She, she's going to find out. Hey. Look at this idiot that I've been protecting. You will find out. If a woman decides to get a man and fails, it means she has not grown to have perfect control over herself. If she wants to take control over the life of any man, she must first conquer herself. How is that possible? If a man triggers your libido and you allow yourself to be paid when you don't want to be it's simply you don't have perfect control over yourself. And believe you me, you cannot be said The festival is all about it. Are you implying that it may go beyond dance to something else? This is, this is more difficult, very difficult than I thought. The spirits may force a congregation to rise and play if they are unable to control themselves when it comes. Rise and play? I don't understand what you mean by rise and play. When people rise and play, it means they are completely consumed by the spirits that they start mating in the open. Decency and moral morality would be suspended. And you see the mighty taking the law in the open without any remorse. You must not allow the spirit occupy you like this. You have to surrender to the spirit. But you must have complete control over all your senses. Um, please, do you should not be angry, eh? I want to ask a question. For those of you that know Uzema very well, I don't know. Um, have you heard from her? Onye Ndu. Onye Ususo. Speak. Hey, Amarach. Please. Um, what is happening with Uzioma? Have you seen her? It's been long I saw her. I don't understand. Were you supposed to see her? She always comes around. 
Or did my tonton stop her from coming? Go on, see. Go on, see, see. Just wait. Oh. Anyway, if you must know, we hardly come on here since you people started dancing with her. Yeah. Hey! Why did you come out? But, um, what are her plans with the prince now? Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me or what? No, no, no. Let me ask you, what plans is she supposed to have with him? What plans? Is she, how is she preparing for the festival? Please be specific. I really don't know what you girls want to But if you must know, she's no longer interested both in the prince and in that festival. And she's not even looking forward to it. <coughs> Amarachi, may the gods be praised. That is a wonderful news. Wonderful news that... I'm not threatened by her. It's just amazing how fate turns around and frowns at people you least expect. Words of my very special friend, a true astral. I'm for the first of all, I'm very sure that so many things will be happening. <laughs> You are good when it comes to dance. Why are you bothered about in Dubisi? I know. I know I am a very good dancer. Hmm. But his help will go a long way too. He is being the one pushing this for me. I don't understand. Pushing it for you. How? Okay, you won't understand. Just forget it. Even if I explain to you, you wouldn't. But you shouldn't have said that to him anyway. Listening to Elufa's words and responding to it was a very big mistake. I know. That's why I went to him and I apologized. Mm -hmm. He said he has forgiven me. But I still don't feel good about the whole thing. Don't. Don't bother yourself. After all, Indubis is not going to be the one to choose who is going to be the queen that day. So cheer up. Mm. Cheer up, my dear. Mm, forget about him. I have come too far to lose out. I will do whatever I can to get myself back to Indubis's best book. Uzoma is not going to be a loser. No. Cheer up, dear. Ah. For 100 years. We've suspended this festival. And I have some people talking to the day. Say something about it. They say they want to make it an annual event. It will be happening every year. You know what they think about it? Hmm? We are very lucky that it's happening in our own time. In our own time. I want me and you. Me and you to hijack the festival. Me and you hijack the festival. Yes. I don't understand what you mean. How can we hijack the festival? See, in four days from today, hmm, all the maidens of this kingdom will gather for the prince. And prince will select one out of the maidens for a while. I want us to decide the fate of others. It is now becoming clear to me that you actually called me here to, to, to get me angry. What is my business with, with, with the maidens that I should be deciding their fate? Are you trying to tell me that you are not interested? Interested wow. in what? what? Look, I have this feeling that you put me here to, 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 to waste my time. Oh no, no, no. I don't like it. I don't like it. Come. I know the, I know you don't understand the tradition of this land. The key, the prince is only allowed or empowered to marry one of the maidens. After marrying the maidens, me and you we take over the rest and make sure we finish them. One after the other. Take over. Finish them. Yes. By, 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 by what way? By, by, by rape or by I beg? See, I don't blame you. The reason why they called you Uko is because you can never protect something. See, this thing I'm talking now shows me that your head is empty. We draw. 
if no one can hold the job. But I want you to understand that I am the planner. Hmm? The only thing you have to do is to say yes. Become my partner in this business. Leave the rest for me. I, I, I don't understand what you mean by me being your partner. But I just want you to realize that I do not have time for, 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 for this stupid nonsense conversation. And Honolulu, this should be the very last time in your life you ever call me out and start talking nonsense. This should be the last time. It was with you. See? My friend, no, I cannot see you. But you need to go and get high so that you can talk to a high man. In the low, so you can understand some things. Thank God he left early because this is a big stomach will just. The festival comes up in four days from date. As the one in charge of music in this kingdom, I called you here to know how you're preparing. Your Majesty. Ndubisi, who is the one practically organizing the festival, has confirmed to me that Agboma will be the one to compose what the maidens will dance. And from the look of things, Your Majesty, it looks like our royal band has been exempted from their plans. What are they planning? Ndubisi is planning to bring a recorded music from Onichado. He even confirmed to me that Aboma has formed her composition for Nkwa Umwabo in Onichado. His argument has been that he wants the maidens to dance to a particular kind of music that they have never heard before. He believed by so doing, it will be an excellent way to select the best, Your Majesty. Hmm. Amanze just left here. He confirmed to me that you're planning to bring a strange band from Monichado for the festival. Your Majesty, it is not actually a strange band. It is something we plan for us to get the best. The music shall be coming from giant speakers, Your Majesty, and uh, the whole square shall be filled with the spirit of dance. And uh, have you seen this band play before? Your Majesty, it is not actually a band. We call the Bundi Guapati. They play from machines, from large speakers. When Nkosho Baku was laid to rest in Obagurobo, his son invited the music group from Manishado to entertain the people during the funeral. And the people of Urobo up to date, they have not forgotten the, the entertainment they got from the band. I, I, I sincerely believe, your, your Majesty, that you will love their kind of music. Are you sure of what you're saying? Your Majesty, I, 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 I want you to trust me on this. Because this festival is very dear to my heart. My prince shall be selecting his wife that day. And uh, I, I believe we want him to get the best. We have settled with the musicians and uh, I, I, I believe they will not disappoint your majesty. Hmm. Very well then. Did you discuss this with my son? And uh, did you get confirmation from him that he's okay with the arrangement? Your, 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 your majesty, I, I have his consent. Though it was difficult, but finally he gave his consent. We have already done everything and then uh, everything is okay. I believe we are out for something big, Your Majesty. You know, I remember the time when you couldn't look into my eyes. <laughs> but now I'm happy because you have gone past that stage. If you continue this way, it would make me go shy again. Well, I came this night to inform you that we have changed the music for the festival. Are you serious? Yes. It's been changed to what? 
modern music. Yes, uh, see, uh, they say the players will come from Jado. Uh, they will come with uh, what they call speakers. Uh, that's what we project the music so everybody can hear. And uh, this is recorded music. You see, while they play, the maidens will dance to their music to entertain the people. Modern music. Well, I'm not bothered. I can dance to any music. Good. Good. The only problem is that I want to dance alone. What? I don't want anyone obstructing you from seeing me. In that way, I could convince the people that I don't have any competitor. You see why I say you're the best. You are the best. My dear, I'm the one who dictates what happens. So I'll give you what you want. As far as I'm concerned, other maidens are dancing to fulfill all righteousness. Because in the end, it's you I will choose. <laughs> that you're laboring to impose on the prince as a queen. The same maiden that is parading herself as the best dancer is actually the worst dancer amongst the maidens. Aboma, you are not getting this thing. I came here for a different purpose entirely. I have secured the approval of the king to bring in the Guapati from Onishado to play during the festival. What it means is that I no longer need your assistance to manipulate anything because already I have an edge to manipulate the process once in the weapon come from on the shadow. What I came to do is to ask you to do me a favor concerning all the things we already discussed together about manipulating this process to favor this meeting I want to impose on the place as a way. Please, I don't want you to mention anything about it to anybody. That is why I came here this night to plead with you to do this for me. Please, be good. Can't you forget? Lubisi, come back here. I am not happy that a man like you, that occupies a sensitive position in this land, is not committed to due process. Eh? Yeah, no, uh, I, I agree with you that she is not a wonderful dancer. Why then are you moving around the kingdom, scheming to make her the queen? Because she made me a promise. Why can't you understand this thing? She made me a promise and she is committed to the promise she made to me. That is why I am scheming. Because if she becomes the queen eventually, my life is going to be better than what it is. That's why I came to you to ask you to assist me. Do not mention anything concerning what we discussed with anybody. Keep it to yourself. Don't say a word to anybody. And then you watch me, you watch me how I'm going to manipulate this festival. No problem. I will not say a word to anybody. Hmm? But if Odum Iwele is still our God, is still the God of this land, he will definitely reveal himself when the maidens gather. But at least you will not say what. You may now leave. Now! I now know the game plan. Who is this maiden that he wants to impose on the prince? And how is that supposed to be your business? It seems you don't understand the weight of your offense I've uncovered this night. We are planning a festival, and you and Ndubisi have already settled on a particular maiden. I want to know who that maiden is. Do you know what's equal? I want to go back to sleep. You really think I will allow you to go in and sleep when you've not answered my question? 
It was only but one blow. One heavy blow. That didn't be CD of you last time. It was only but one blow. One blow of one, one blow that the race gave you, you collapsed. Not only collapsed, you fainted. Not only fainted, you almost died. In fact, you died and woke up. Next thing, this life, you have the boldness. The stability that wants to kill you is making you to believe that you can block a bomb. See you. See. I'm going to go. The best thing for you is for you to start going home. If you want to die, go to your house. Oh no, do go in the What is he doing here? <coughs> oh. Is it you and Ono Dugo now? Aboma? Ono Dugo? Since when have you started coming here? I will happen to be seen to a complete suspicion. <laughs> If you try to intimidate me with this your nonsense, I will suck it. I have confirmed that you are just an empty human being. An idiot, in fact, if people boo hoop, the man is not there. If you intimidate me with this empty chest, I will suck it. But it's a idiot. The BC, the Duke, boom, or Colonel, or Colonel, the BC, or Colonel, boom, or Colonel, boom, or Colonel, boom, or Colonel, boom, or Colonel, I need an explanation for this. Aboma, put that here. Aboma. Aboma. Hey. What's happening here? You finally fell into that trap? Hey. My prince. Can you swear on the grave of your grandfather that you have not sold your royal oath with this thing here? Ha! Can you swear? <laughs> Listen to me, Ononugu. There is no way you will visit Aboma by this time of the night. And you expect me, Ukulu, to believe that there is nothing going on between both of you. What do you want from me? Confirm it. Kukere Zioku! Have you been doing anything with your bomber? Brrr. Oh, I'm. Um, see, there are things I said about you. I remember that I said them in error. I've confirmed that you are an idiot. An empty pot. You are taught you are intelligent. But now I can see that you are only but it. Wait, 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 wait on a logo. Say the truth. Which truth do you know? See, this type of broken. I'm used to eat. If you try it with me, yeah, I will kill you and bury you here. Nothing will happen. You manage to return after the busy gave you one, one, two. See, if I give you my own, the breeze alone will send you to a journey that you will never return. I see. If you move, fat. Even you and your spirit can never do anything. But let me tell you. Listen, let me tell you. A mama is like a water. You are like an empty basket of water. If you pour know water inside, water will leak out. When I pour water, I will be here. You will drop. You drop. Drop. Who is there? Oh, 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 why? Why must I bother myself with what she does with her life? Why? I am not as 
deny me as your friend. I know more than what you think I know. So don't threaten someone like me with royal oath. Don't. Azuka, what are you planning to achieve in this palace? Do you want to become pregnant for the prince and ruin him or what? People start thinking about pregnancy when something has happened. Did he tell you anything happened? Did he? So what were you doing in his room? No, let me ask you. Was it the prince that invited you at this ungodly hour of the night? Or were you the idiot that went in there on your own? <laughs> See, let me tell you. My primary duty is to serve and obey him in all things. In all things? Yes. Did he tell anyone that I'm not discharging my duty to the best of my abilities? Good to see. I don't know the reason for all these questions. <laughs> this girl. Okay. Are you going to participate in the coming Book Warm and Bowl Festival? <laughs> when the festival starts eventually, we will know those that gathered. Please, I want to go and sleep. Something happened between the prince and this idiot. Why are they not ready to accept that it happened? Come on, come on, what is this devil? I'm surprised that you're still awake right now. Don't you want to sleep? I'm more surprised that you have decided to make a bigger fool out of yourself and you're not even bothered about it. Remember we had an agreement. Listen, let me tell you. If the prince finally makes me his wife, <laughs> I hope you not get jealous. Azuka. Azuka. If you're stupid, it lands you in trouble. Do not expect me to lie to anybody to protect you. Because me, I will tell them exactly what happened. Are you so okay, please? I don't even know why I'm talking to you. Chicken like me. I am surprised you're still awake by this hour of the night. It's for you to understand how I value this project. I've been busy all day, moving around, trying to tight all ends that will make you emerge victorious. <laughs> Interesting. So, what have you been up to? The important thing which is now established is that our local Igwa Puneshenyi and all the bands are headed by Amanze. None of them will be playing that day. So, what shall we be dancing to? Igwa Bati, coming all the way from Onishado, recorded high life music very fit at I want you to understand that that kind of music can only be worn by somebody who has a prepared mind. So I came all the way this night to ask you to prepare your mind. Forget, do away with thinking about uh, your back the chain, all this uh, music, uh, forget all this music and concentrate on this kind of music that is coming from Anishadu. If you are able to prepare your mind, then I can tell you this night that you are going to be the one that will be selected. The only thing I will say is, I will try my best. The truth still remains that the choice of music that I have now has not contributed anything to the quest because I still don't know how the music sounds. It's so my if you say that you make me feel bad. Nobody can win me in this land. It's a promise. <laughs> that is because I am the one. And when I hear you say that I am excited, you know? <laughs> if you leave this palace today, don't ever come back. 
for you are a disgrace. <laughs> please, please, Naya. Please, Naya, Jugo, please. It's not what you think. Yes, it's not what you think, please. It is not what I think. Yes. It is what I know. I'm so disappointed in you. God, hey! Please, you what I was telling you. But you refuse to listen. Having to become a laughing stock of everybody. Please, please, no. Throw her out. Hey! Now! Move. Move. Now. <laughs> Move. <laughs> Move. <laughs> this way, this way, this way. Your Majesty, that is slept with the maiden. Do not make us cancel the festival we have already fixed. We shall proceed with our festival. Yes. What if after the festival, mm. we then discover that the maiden is pregnant? What shall we do? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 Prince, why are you chasing him like that? Because I'm going to kill him. I am going to kill this thing you gave me as a personal assistant. And I don't want him anymore. I don't want him anymore. If Ndu should remain in this palace, he will no longer work for me. He should not be seen anywhere around me. If he's going to be here, let him work for you. Because I'll kill him. I don't want Ndu around me. I don't want Ndu around me. My place. Oh, Ndu. Eh, eh. What did you do to warrant such harsh uh, decision? I, 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 nothing. Nothing. Are you sure? We all know Azuka very well. Most times I even wonder how a maiden like her ended up in the palace. I can swear on anything that she was the person that seduced the prince. And you don't have to hate your man because of someone like Azuka. Ngozi. I will feel worse if it's proved that she actually seduced them. It means he has no control. And what? And what, Ngozi? I'm surprised you're the one saying this. After all the teachings from Aboma, you still blame a man for falling victim to seduction. Come on, give that young man a break. If there's anybody you should be angry with, that person must be Azoka, not the prince. Prince is coming. I do not want to see him. I do not want to see him. Just give him a listening ear, please. Greetings, my friend. Greetings. I don't know why you're here. I heard everything. Please, my dear, please. This whole thing started like a joke. You know, it started like a joke, but I believe she was paid by my enemies to dent my image and put this scandal on me. Thank the gods you know it's a scandal. My love, please, please. I'm looking into your eyes right now. Looking into your eyes and telling you categorically that nothing happened. Nothing. Nothing. Yes, she was found in my room. I agree. But Ndubis just blew this whole thing out of proportion. I'm telling you today and I'm standing on it firmly that nothing happened. I haven't soiled my royal oats. I haven't. I haven't. Please believe me. I, I don't know what to believe again. I know it's difficult for you to believe me. But please find a place in your heart just to believe me. Please. Please. I, I have already... I have already decided not to participate in the festival again. Don't say that, don't say that, my love. Please, don't say that. Please. I know what I want. I know who I want. The dance is just a mere formality. That festival is just formality. That's what it is. I know who I want. And this. No, 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 I will not. Why? 
because of mere rumors? Are you not just looking for any reason to pull out? Dauche, it is not just a mere rumor. Have you not heard? Have you not heard that the maiden in question has been sent out of the palace? Didn't I want you to stop associating with all these maidens that do nothing than gossip around? Amarachi is not a gossip and you know it yourself. She's about the only maiden who I'm friends with. I have warned you. I am the only one you should listen to. Take my words. Prince did not do anything wrong. Listen, you will go for the festival and you are going to dance. Of course. That's what my life has been about. To please you and you all the time. Do it one more time. Maybe for the last time. Just go and dance. Maybe for the sake of dancing, like you said. Uzoma, the prince is insisting that nothing happened. And I want us to forget what happened. Forget it. Listen to me. Tomorrow is bigger than yesterday and even today. What will occupy your mind now is that you are going to march tomorrow as the queen of this kingdom. <laughs> Into this scene. You sound like you're so sure that I would be the one the prince would select. Of course, I am very sure. Very sure because we have adopted what we call this engagement rule. Come tomorrow, I am going to be the one in charge of eliminating people. Do you think I will ever eliminate you? Do you know earlier in the day he, he attempted to fire me from the palace? His father overruled him. Who is he to fire me? Tomorrow, I am going to make you the queen. But I want you to remember the promise you made to me. Because come tomorrow, I am going to make you the queen of this land. <laughs> you know I don't disappoint. Just do your part and leave me to do mine. Good. <laughs> See you tomorrow. tomorrow. Well, I won't say anything until it happens. Down on her knees. I never know what the problem was. Finally, a new man sat on the throne. Everything became normal. How many bottles did you drink last night? What kind of stupid question is that? It's not a useless question. Very important question. You are an idiot. See, <laughs> if you tell me the amount of alcohol you took yesterday, I think I will be able to comment on your dream. Idiot. See, I don't want I don't want you to offend me, but see, I decided not to take much of the drink so that my eyes will be clear. I'll be seeing everything with naked eyes. Honorable. That is not the answer to my question. Tell me the amount of alcohol you took yesterday. Anyway, I will tell you. Um I manage 18 bottles. Huh? Only. <laughs> 18 bottles and uh, you didn't take enough. Take can go 50. I'm, I'm not here, idiot. Chef, go up, go up, go up. But let me tell you something. 
there is something I do that is a bit, I'm, I'm finding it difficult to understand. See, linking my revelation to a bottle is, is not fair at all. What they showed me has nothing to do with bottle. They showed me a destroyed Umar Ali and the new king. But I'm trying to find out the relationship between the two. Maybe I am the king. I've seen it. It's, it's all over. Are you not seeing it? Or you drop. Go and drink two bottles because your eyes is that. Drink and get high idiot. so that you will communicate. Mm -hmm. You will idiot. An 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 umpama. Come on, this is bombing. Idiot. idiot. We're not. We're not in the same level, so I cannot talk to you. Go and drink and come to my level. Abomma. As you can see, all the maidens are gathered to dance for the promotion. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, 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 but the initial arrangement was for this festival to hold in the village square of Otomi Wele. Then Ndubisi conspired and brought it here in the palace. And do you have any problem with the festival holding here in the palace? Of course, Agboma, I have a problem with that. You see, my band were supposed to play and entertain our people because I believe that the music from my band would assure that the spirit of dance will descend on our maidens. I am so suspicious of this recorded music that Ndubisi brought from Onichado. You see, I have a feeling that he is planning to execute a deadly plan. Amanze, I know you as a man of the gods. You have never been accused of any abomination in this land. Agoma, thank you very much for the compliments. But I still don't know what it has to do with the issue on the ground. Do not bother yourself about Ndubisi and his deadly plans. I am happy that you noticed. Leave Odomi well to perfect what he started. Zioma, it is not a do or die affair. One thing is for sure, one maiden is going to win and I want that one maiden to be you. I'm only here to please you. I have no zeal in me to entertain anybody. The zeal shall come when you make up your mind. Feminine dance is all about seduction. Unleash the woman in you to get the man in him to stand. We are finally here to implement. We have had enough of the instructions, so it's time. He may ultimately get confused and we will not know who is the best. What will you do if that turns out to be the case? After the first general dance, they will make a selection of about five or ten maidens. My mother said that any maiden that makes it to that level is regarded as a queen. Queen? I can't get it. Chiwendo, are you in any way saying that if the prince is unable to make a choice from the selected maiden, that we should all be his wives? Nekwenu Manya, I never said that. I can never, I personally can never share my man, my husband, with any woman. I'm only repeating what my mother said. Oh, please, please, let's just stop this whole argument, okay? Let's try everything within our power to pass the first stage. As from the next stage, you know, anything is possible. Okay. It is called the mystery of separation. This is what great women of old have used over the years. Force your man to see only you. Forget about your co contestants. Climb to the heights where you will be the only one he will see. Once this is done, everything is possible. We all know why we are here. The prince is here with his friends and he's going to pick one of you today. The one that is going to be acknowledged as the best. Prove to us that you are the best and you may be selected 
as the queen. If I bump up on the nanani, I'm going to ball. As soon as I get water from my, I'm going to move yes. I'm going to get you no beer. I'm going to get you All of you are wonderful, wonderful dancers. We are here to make a selection. And as you know, some people must have to go. The prince is going to select the one. And in line with the disengagement rule we adopted before the festival, I am going to touch five of you. The five that I'm going to touch are the ones that are qualified for the next stage of this selection process. If I didn't touch you, that means you are not qualified and you have to step aside and watch the events as they unfold. Yeah, 
Those I touch shall remain. Others. Your Majesty, I am not disappointed at all. Will you give the youth a chance? They will prove to you they can do. I pity my son. If I were in his shoes, I wouldn't know who to choose. Me willing. We we'll guide him. The gods are wise. No. Odumi Wele will not guide him. Because he refused to ask of guidance from Odumi Wele, the paramount god of our land. Hmm. I believe my son is going to make a mistake today. Why did you live like that? I'm suspecting that the process is so so unfair. We dance better than the ones they allow to remain. Do not disturb yourself over nothing. Okay? We are just here to entertain ourselves, nothing else. Okay? I'm only disappointed. After all the training, they selected the maidens that don't dance well. So, do you know what? Let's go back before they say we disrespected the crown. Let's go. Oya bebu, oya bebu, oya bebu, oya Ese 
I stand here today to say that the Nkwaoma ball is not a charity. It has proven to be a noble festival and confirmed that the gods of our land, Odumiwele, the paramount god of our land, does not make mistakes. My dear, you are destined to be queen. You were groomed to be queen. And that is why after everything, you are the one who got the crown. Hereby present Today, I hereby declare you the queen in waiting of Umwok Baleri Kingdom.
Let's get it. 